What if I told you that some of the most dangerous signs of heart disease are so subtle, you might never even suspect they're putting your life at risk. These stealthy symptoms can easily be mistaken for everyday health issues leading to a false sense of security. Ignoring these warning signs could mean missing the critical opportunity to prevent a catastrophic heart event. In this lesson, I'm gonna be sharing with you seven warning signs your body is trying to warn you about regarding heart disease. The first warning sign is shortness of breath. If you find yourself having shortness of breath from maybe climbing some stairs or walking to the grocery store from your car or picking up some bags and it's happening on a frequent basis, this could be a sign of heart problems. This occurs because the heart may not be pumping effectively, leading to a fluid buildup in the lungs. If this is happening on a persistent basis, it could be a red flag for heart disease. When fluid accumulates in the lungs due to heart failure, it impedes oxygen exchange, making it difficult to breathe. Reduced oxygen delivery from conditions like coronary artery disease prompts the body to increase breathing rates. Abnormal heart rhythms, such as atrial fibrillation, disrupt efficient blood circulation as well, leading to breathlessness. So whether you're getting tired from day-to-day -day tasks, getting shortness of breath, or you have an intolerance to exercise, this could be because of compromised heart function. The second warning sign is swelling in your legs, ankles, or feet. Swelling in the legs, ankles, or feet, known as peripheral edema, is a common symptom of heart disease, particularly heart failure. The swelling occurs because the heart's reduced pumping efficiency leads to increased pressure in the veins, causing fluid to leak into the surrounding tissues. When the heart fails to circulate blood efficiently, blood backs up in the veins, leading to fluid accumulation in lower extremities. This fluid typically can worsen with gravity, making swelling more noticeable in the legs and ankles later in the day, especially after you've been sitting down for a while too. Studies highlight that worsening edema is often an indicator of progressing heart failure and may necessitate adjustments in treatment, such as diuretic medications and fluid retention aids that you might be on right now. So talk to your doctor for sure if this is happening to you. The third warning sign is for men, and that is erectile dysfunction. And there's even something else which I'll get to with men, but erectile dysfunction is a huge red flag that you are at risk of heart disease. A study published in the American Association Journal called Circulation, this study analyzed data from nearly 2,000 men with an average age of 69 years old who had no history of heart disease or stroke. The researchers found that men with erectile dysfunction were twice as likely to experience heart attacks, strokes, or cardiovascular deaths compared to those without the erectile dysfunction. This association remained significant even after adjusting for the other risk factors like diabetes, and high blood pressure. The study emphasizes that erectile dysfunction is a strong predictor of cardiovascular events and that men with ED should undergo comprehensive cardiovascular evaluations to detect and mitigate risk early. Another study, which was a prospective cohort study from the 45 and up study, this large scale Australian study included 95,038 men aged 45 and over. The researchers found that men with severe erectile dysfunction had significantly higher risk of cardiovascular diseases, including ischemic heart disease, heart failure, and peripheral vascular disease compared to the men without the erectile dysfunction. The study highlighted that the severity of erectile dysfunction correlated with an increased risk of cardiovascular events and all-cause mortality. Here's the link between erectile dysfunction and heart disease. Both erectile dysfunction and heart disease is primarily due to shared vascular and endothelial function. Both conditions are associated with impaired nitric oxide production, which is crucial for vasodilation and proper blood flow. Atherosclerosis, for example, a common factor in both erectile dysfunction and heart disease involves the buildup of plaque in the arteries, leading to reduced blood flow, chronic inflammation, low testosterone levels, and an autonomic nervous system that is dysfunctioning further exacerbate these conditions. So if you're a guy watching this and you have erectile dysfunction, the good news is that there's some natural ways to overcome this. That's the outside the scope of this video, but just know that it is a red flag. And let's say you don't have the issue of erectile dysfunction, but you wake up in the morning without morning wood on a consistent basis. Those could be even early warning signs before it leads to erectile dysfunction. I will tell you this, one of the, my favorite supplements for naturally 
increasing testosterone in men and women, because it's important for women too. It's called Upgraded T by Upgraded Formulas, and I'll drop a link in the coupon code for you to get that product if you want to use it. The fourth warning sign is lightheadedness and dizziness. Lightheadedness and dizziness can be an indicative of heart disease due to several mechanisms. Cardiovascular conditions like arrhythmias, heart attacks, and even heart failure can reduce blood flow, leading to a sensation of dizziness or faintness. This occurs because the heart may not pump enough blood to maintain adequate oxygen to the brain. Additionally, conditions as in sudden drops in blood pressure can trigger dizziness upon standing or during stressful events. The fifth warning sign is persistent coughing or wheezing. A persistent cough or wheezing can indicate heart disease, particularly heart failure due to fluid buildup in the lungs known as pulmonary edema. This condition results from the heart's inability to pump blood effectively, causing fluid to accumulate in the lungs and airways, leading to symptoms like as persistent, often a frothy cough and wheezing term cardiac asthma. Several studies highlight that these respiratory symptoms are commonly accompanied by shortness of breath, rapid breathing, and crackling sounds in the lungs. The sixth warning sign is a surprising one to a lot of people, but it's jaw, neck, or back pain. Now, before you are alarmed there, that doesn't mean that if you're having jaw, neck, or back pain, you're having a heart attack, but here, here's some interesting research. This is often linked to heart attacks, especially in women. Unlike the classic chest pain, these pains are less recognized, but are crucial indicators of heart disease. Pain in these areas is typically due to referred pain. Whereas the heart's decreased blood flow and oxygen levels, called ischemia, cause discomfort that radiates to the jaw, the neck, and the back. Studies have shown that about 4 in 10 people experiencing a heart attack report uh, oral facial pain, including jaw pain. This type of pain can sometimes be the primary or sole symptom of a heart attack, particularly in women. I don't know why, but that's the case. The pain might feel oppressive, burning, or crushing, and can occur during physical exertion or even stress, but it also might happen at rest. In one study from the Cleveland Clinic, a man experienced jaw pain for five years before it was correctly diagnosed as a symptom of coronary artery disease. So, something to be aware of. The seventh and final warning sign of heart disease is extreme fatigue. Now, it doesn't mean if you have extreme fatigue, you have heart disease, but check out this research. Unlike typical exhaustion from daily activities, extreme fatigue is associated with heart disease and can feel overwhelming and persistent even after resting. This symptom often appears unexpectedly and can significantly impact one's ability to perform everyday tasks. It occurs because the heart's reduced efficiency in pumping blood results in insufficient oxygen and nutrients reaching the body's tissues, leading to a constant feeling of tiredness. Studies have shown, and I'll reference them down below, that individuals with coronary artery disease or congestive heart failure often report extreme fatigue as an early warning sign, sometimes even become more classic symptoms like chest pain or shortness of breath that could also become apparent after. Now that you know the seven warning signs, I don't want you to freak out. Uh, I, I know that we could have a tendency to say, oh my gosh, I have heart disease. It doesn't mean you have heart disease, but here's the thing. Einstein said, intellectuals solve problems, geniuses prevent them. It's so much better to be proactive than reactive. So good job watching the video, and I have good news for you. I just released a brand new video outlining five vegetables to consume on a consistent basis to prevent a heart attack. Green leafy vegetables are nitrate-rich foods, and there's a bacteria in your mouth that converts nitrate-rich foods into nitric oxide. It is important not to take antiseptic mouthwash like Listerine and Scope or any of the ones out there. It will actually increase risk of heart disease.